from locations that are rather obvious from past games, to details you maybe haven't really noticed for now. Even for connections to past games. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has a lot of secrets. And I want to put as much as possible in this video, finding every little bit of info that I can find. And if I missed something, please tell me in the comments below. For now, let's start with the most obvious. The Titans from both Xenoblade games. Uriah is pretty obviously one of them, since you'll see him the entire game. Within Uriah, you can find the remains of Fonza Mima, the capital of Uriah, which you could find in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Next up, is Gormot. You can see him pretty much from the beginning too. Especially recognizable are the horns on his head. And overall, his entire body can be seen here. Then there is Tantal. Even though he can't be seen from the overworld, or at least I couldn't find him, he is in my opinion pretty obviously here seen on the map. Besides, the same goes for more Ardain. First I was thinking that it's this mountain over here, but there is zero evidence for it. The weird thing is, after visiting this place over here, which I first thought was actually Mekonis, this titan was not metal. And I was sure that this is actually more Ardain. But here is the thing. More Ardain doesn't have a left arm. But you're seeing it yourself, that he still has it here. So, I am not sure, to be honest. Let me know what you think. Next up, are parts of Leftheria. You can find them in Erythea and the area in front the Mekonis sword. And boy was I happy to see them. Gotta love that as a Xenoblade fan. And some smaller titans from the second game are also seen to be here. Gotta love those details. Now, we discussed Mekonis a bit. And I don't think he is anywhere to be seen. But that's not the case for the Bionis, since his unicorn head can be seen from far away as well. It still is a sight to behold and an overall epic view. Let's talk about other areas from past games. The Fallen Arm from Mekonis. For this area, there are two areas relevant here. The first one, that was the city of the Machina. Right here in the middle. And you can already see the second one. It was already a sight to behold in the first game. And still is in this game. Something that probably hasn't any connection whatsoever, but had me reminded of something, was this area. I was thinking about this place. But it's probably not it. Let me speed up the pace. There is quite a bit to cover.
Here is speculation on my part. But I think this is Spirit Crucible Elpis. Especially since they are saying. Never seen this place before. It doesn't look like we can interlink in here. Let's proceed carefully. Which reminds me of blades being weakened in here. Which could be a good indication on it. And it honestly just looks like a more colorful version of it, not gonna lie. But now for probably the best secret in this game. If you haven't seen it yet, please search it up for yourself first. There is a super boss on the way, but you can cheese yourself through it, with the power of climbable walls. The thing you will find, is probably Ricky's grave, with his legendary weapon, that you can actually pick up and use. And that let my inner fanboy of the first game melt. Then there is Melia's room, and there is a little callback to an area you saw earlier. And it's not the only secret it hides. The CEO of and Nia has the Aegises on her back, and the CEO of and Shulk are both as statues here to be remembered. Even Faye from Xenogears is here. And guess what, Sans is here too. But on a more serious note, there are seven items that can be found in Erythia Sea. And these are called the Legacy of the Seven. And their names are interesting. Because they remind me of a certain moment in a game. But I don't have a theory on that. Someone else can do that lol. Anyway, I didn't plan to include music or items. I decided to let them out for this video. If it wouldn't be too much to ask, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, your <laughs> too precious.